This next story infuriates me. Airlines tracking your shopping habits and then charging you more for your tickets. Here's how it works. Basically, some airlines are pricing tickets based on your browser history. If you're searching for expensive goods, chances are your airline ticket will be higher. You have a lot to say about this in today's Fifth Host. Take it away, Sam Shocker. Ooh, and I think we have a lot to say too, but let's dive into your comments. Doris Wofford Shoemaker writes, that really makes me mad. You get screwed because you have done well for yourself. Tell me about it, Doris. Yes, yeah, sing it, Doris. Doris. <laughs> it's but it's we. It's just like it, you just realize that all of your personal information, even things that you've never said, like online. I have a friend of mine. At first, I thought this was a conspiracy theory, but we've been talking about this for two weeks. She got a gig uh, doing some work for Bumble, the uh, the app, and she said she just told her friend on the phone, and she said she started seeing ads for Bumble on her Facebook. Oh yeah. And she said she's never touched it. She didn't even know what it was. Yep. Wow. And Juliet Robin says, "Are you kidding me? You charge." per customer, this is discrimination in so many ways. Do they have a lawsuit or no? I'm sure we'll think of something. I mean, this is a very <laughs> litigious society. Don't we'll worry, it's America. We'll think Don't of something. Don't worry, it's yeah. America. We'll come up with something. <laughs> um, but I, what's that is, you know, actually I have a solution. You know what we should do? Clear your browser history, start searching for like spam, like three dollar things, and then try to go there unemployment. Go. There you go. Then you help a, with my taxes. Then you get a really <laughs> So now right. you're, you're credit card debt. Yeah. Yeah, uh, like even how Hosky writes that should be illegal, right, to President Trump? Yeah. Right, Trump, because Trump has Trump's going to clearly. Well, I don't know about Trump, Trump but yeah. I'm just saying like someone needs to do something about this because the airlines are taking advantage in every way possible, in every single way possible. Agreed. I booked a bunch of flights um, just recently. When you book your flight, say it's two hundred fifty dollars. Now add for your bags. Now add to pick your seat. You have to pay for your seat where you want to sit. I mean, they are legit gangsters. The airlines. Yes. And they but, do exactly I mean, whatever but they want to do. Say that someone I has agree. to do something. I, yeah, but I will say that we all know when we, if we're all on an airplane, we all know that we paid a different price for our seat. Sometimes you book your things four months in advance. Sometimes, I'm not saying what they're doing is correct, but the airline industry has always seemed kind of un, un, unregulated. When you get on a True. Greyhound bus, which I've done many times, I think everybody's ticket is 18 same. bucks, yep. 25 bucks. But it, I don't understand why airline, maybe somebody out there can write and tell us. I don't understand why air, no the person sitting next to me may have paid $300 more or less right. for my seat. Now, it's weird. Yeah. They also, right. There's one airline out there that charges for water now. Spirit. Oh yes. All right.